Many of you will be used to using building pads with topo surfaces to create a level a sort of platform for your building design to go on. So I've got a, uh, a piece of topo here. It has got some uh, different heights in it, some undulations and a simple building pad. So if I just select the building pad there, now I have created a section through the site just so you can see that selected building pad there. So by default, the building pads are horizontal and we can see the properties for the element here because we've still got it selected. And you can see that there's no uh, parameters there to adjust the slope of the building pad. Um, we can adjust its height, uh, set its level and any offsets, um, but not the slope on it. Well, certainly not from the, the parameters here in the properties panel. So typically that, that's fine because you just want to um, create a, an opening or, a, or, or sort of punctuate the topo surface in order to create a clean footprint on which to build your design. But there may be instances where you'd actually like this uh, pad to be sloped. So let's say, for example, you're using a building pad as a, a piece of external works, so let's say a, a path or a, a car park and you want to fall across it. Um, we can in fact slope the building pads by use of a slope arrow. So if I go to a site plan, so with the building pad still selected, if I hit edit boundary to get back to the boundary definition for our pad, and we look up on the menu, got our standard um, palette there of drawing tools, but just like um, you may have seen with uh, ceilings and floors and roofs, we've got access to um, a slope arrow button there where we can insert a slope arrow element into the sketch. So if I select that, now I'm gonna start my slope arrow there going to go across the entire width of the pad to the other end. Now slope arrows have their own set of properties so with that selected and the idea is um, basically you are setting heights um, either absolute or relative of the head and the tail of the arrow in which to sort of edit the sketch which would otherwise as we've seen just be by default horizontal. So height at the tail and height at the head so just to make this really obvious, I'm just going to increase that up to, let's say, 700 mil. So there's a real differential between each end of the pad. Hit the green tick. Go back to our 3D. And we can clearly see now that the, the pad is indeed sloped. And just to see that in section. Now I'll just select it to make it easier to see. So send them up, might be many scenarios, um, maybe for the building itself. Um, let's just think, uh, maybe this is going down to an underground car park or ramp down to a basement um, where it's useful to be able to slope the building pad.